everyone welcome back to my channel it's me Jess and my hair today um, so I just thought I would do a hair video since one I don't really see many hair videos done especially curly girl hair videos in Australia I feel like the only person that I know that does it is Jamie I think her name's Jamie or something is um she I love her hair so she's the only person that I can relate to because she lives in Australia as well and in Sydney so I can actually go to her page and get some real tips because in America there are great amazing products but we can't get them here so I wanted to do something because I know I can't be the only Australian girl that has curly hair problems so I thought I'd share my little journey um, I'll try to find some photos of my hair how it used to look like I think I've been straightening my hair for it's been a very long time let's just say that I think since I was in year 7 so you 12 years old I was 12 um, basically yeah I've been straightening my hair especially my fringe oh my god I feel like my fringe has come such a long way because it used to just be like this it used to just be flat my whole hair would be curly and then this would just be like bush but anyway um when I brush my hair you're gonna trip out I thought I'd share how I get my hair to look so I guess curly voluminous and the frizz has gone down so much like yeah the back's really bad because I didn't sleep with my bonnet but um the f my hair used to be so frizzy like compared to now I'm so impressed with it it does need a trim I'm not gonna lie but look we're just gonna make do with what we have <laughs> so I really want to share this amazing little trick tip thing that I've been doing for about a month and I have seen amazing results amazing amazing I'm the type of person like I only believe things if I try it because everything you see online about these DIYs and all that kind of stuff you're like yeah 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 like sure this is real like it's not real kind of thing and then you try it and then when it works you're like oh damn yes so this is what we have um let me try to show you hold on yeah it doesn't smell that great so this basically oh that was worse oh look it's not gonna work whatever we do really so basically this is rice water, um, literally as easy as it sounds. So I personally like to take um, two big teaspoons of rice water, of rice, sorry. So two big teaspoons and then I put a whole cup of water in here and that's basically the rice water. So why is rice water so amazing for your hair? Let's get into why rice water is so amazing for your hair. So the main reason why everyone's obsessed with rice water, well the people that I've spoken to anyway, is because it is like the main stimulus of hair growth. It stimulates hair growth basically, right? Um, rice water contains vitamin B, C and E which further help in hair growth. The best way to use rice water to grow hair is to rinse your hair with it after a wash. You really do want to be careful how you use this because this is a protein, you want to make sure that you if you are using this, you want to use something else to combat um, because you don't want to put too much protein in your hair because then it actually can, I feel like, get stiff. That's what happened with me. I used to use this once a week without a mask afterwards and I felt like my hair was great but it was a bit stiff. So what I personally like to do is I go in with this um, and then I'll, you know, wash my hair, put my deep conditioner in for 30 minutes then I'll rinse it again. So not only am I putting the protein, but I'm also hydrating my hair after because that is so important in my opinion as well. Like I never, never used to, used to, I have to like repeat, I'm sorry, cause like I never did this. I literally never used to deep condition my hair. Is I'm just gonna brush my hair. Um, let me just, guys, I'm so sorry for what you're about to witness. Um, I'm going to put a disclaimer. I need to put a disclaimer right now because my hair is going to go from 0 to 100 so bloody quick. You don't even know. I don't really like to um, go in and use a, sh a conditioner to detangle and I know that's probably wrong. So I like to hold my hair and then I start at the bottom. Make sure that's all good. And then I just work my way up. I 
Are you guys ready to see how buffy I get? Oh my god, no, I've never shown anyone in my life. And it used to be worse. I feel like my hair used to be so much thicker. And now it's just like so thin. Mind you, I just want to say as well, curly girls don't brush their hair all the time. Um, when I had straight hair, I'd always brush my hair. But if you brush your hair when you have, when you have curly hair, don't expect it to look great. You're, like, my thing is I only brush my hair when I'm going to shower, during my shower, and like a thousand times after my shower. I don't, like, during the in-between process, there's no brushing. Because, like I said, we want it to look good. Do you guys get, like, if you're a curly girl, do you get really knotty in the back? Because, like, that's mainly where my knots are. Look at the difference. Just look. From brush side... Do not brush side. <laughs> gonna brush the other side give me a second yeah so that's the hair at the moment and yeah so now what we're gonna do we're gonna get the rice water and I mean if you're a curly girl and you don't have this then I don't even like come on come on babe this is like probably the only thing you ever need oh no no that's a lie sorry 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 you need a water bottle like a spray bottle you know so i've got this and i have put some water in there and i like to put a, more, a bit more water because it is too strong i personally think to just go straight in and put the rice water directly on your hair so i'm gonna pop the rice water in here and then we're gonna just go in and spray our voluminous hair i'm back and i'm ready so can you see how it's like like what color is it it's like a off-white but a I don't know it's a really weird color and yeah I don't know how else to really explain that um I personally don't mind the smell I feel like I've smelled worse I haven't put anything else in if you can't stand the smell I do recommend putting um orange like either orange pill or just put some lavender oil or like um citrus or something that has a nice smell that's an oil you can just put like two or three drops it won't really change anything it'll just make it smell a bit better so i forgot my um i forgot my hair clips so we're just gonna get right into it aren't we yes we are okay don't mind me i just get really excited when i do my hair because what is this <laughs> seriously you should feel so privileged because i never show anyone my hair and honestly i was so scared because like realistically it covers my face like Where am I? Jess? 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 <gasps> I almost lost myself. <gasps> okay, so I like to take sections. I like to go in the root first. And then... Now, don't worry too much about the ends at this stage because um, we will go over it. But just for now, I want to really um, make sure we're getting the roots. So I just do sections. I personally like to do this part and then leave the back for I uh, like on its own. Because I feel like the back of your head gets excluded the most. <gasps> okay. I forgot to tell you the tip and I didn't do it either. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I gotta go wash my face. So when you're doing the top of your head, I like to go back. Usually. And then you just make sure that's on. It's a messy, it's a messy thing, I'm telling you. So then when the hair's pretty much done, I go over everything. And then I like kind of brush it all together. Like, see like it's so wet I like to then hold my hair and then just kind of like rotate make sure we're getting everything and then I just like go back in and I just spray what side is done and what side is that can you tell I don't think you can tell 
So, I'm going to do the other side and I'm just going to skip through this because um, I mainly want to show you guys. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the other side. I then like to tie it in a bun. It can be like a high or low bun. And I just do a low one. Leave this in my hair for about 40 minutes to an hour. So I purposely did it now so I can go for my walk, then come back and then go wash my hair. So I'm gonna leave this in for half an hour to an hour. Um, I would recommend an hour, like 40 minutes at least, or even half an hour at least, because you really want it to kind of do its thing. You don't want to just put it in and rinse it, because there's really no point of that. Um, also, I forgot to mention, with the rice, if you do leave it for a day or two, it's actually gonna like be better for your hair. So, for example, if I just did the rice water and then I straight away popped it in, the spray bottle and in my hair it wouldn't have the same effects because the water hasn't yet absorbed all the antioxidants and stuff from the rice so I personally like to leave it in for a day or two max 72 hours max if you leave it longer than that I personally think I haven't tried it but I personally think it doesn't really work the same because it has been you know in water for like so long that it goes off if, if that makes sense, like it has a really bad smell. If you leave it in for three or more days, it literally, like, that cough that I did before is like nothing. Like, literally I might vomit. It's it's horrible. So I don't recommend leaving it longer than two days. Um, I personally think leaving it in for what, 24 hours at least minimum, is you're going to get the best results. You can leave it in for a few hours if you like. But I think if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. So I usually, I plan when my hair gets washed. So I do wash my hair every five to six days because it's so thick, curly, and girl, we don't have freaking all the time in the world to do this shit to our hair, okay? Because <laughs> I don't. I like to personally leave, like I put it in two days ago because I really wanted to use more of the benefits. I wanted to try it with two days. So I did it for two days and then um, I put it in my spray bottle. I just washed it. So then when we do go wash our hair, the first thing you want to do is rinse that. I personally like rinsing my hair with cold water as opposed to warm water only because that's going to really just like help with everything and I don't think it smells as bad when you wash it with cold water. I feel like when you wash it with warm water, it does, in my opinion, it has like a weird smell. But then obviously your shampoo and conditioner will overrule everything but still. That's just a little pointer. I'm going to leave this in for about an hour and then I'm going to go and wash my hair. I will show you what I'm using. I am using the CPR shampoo conditioner and the leave-in conditioner. Um, oh wait, no, it's not a leave-in conditioner. Sorry, it's a mask, a hair mask. And that's what I've been using on the days I do this. When I don't have the CPR mask, I do make my own and that's just with some yogurt, some banana, and what else do I put? Coconut water. So I use that as well if I'm bothered to make my own. But today I'm not. So I'm going to leave this in. I'm going to go rinse my hair after. Wash it. And then I'll come back and we'll see the results. Be back. Alright everyone. It's now 6.30pm. So it has been much longer. I ended up showering um, like 20 minutes ago. Because a few people like my cousin came over and we played. Not really. We did a workout and we just hung out. And then by the time I knew it, I was cooking and now we're here. So, um, I'm going to zoom you in just so you can see my curls. Um, so, this is like currently how they're starting to dry. All I did was... Hold on. So, all I really did was I um, just rinsed out that... Are you kidding me? Sorry. Yeah, so all I did was rinse out the rice water. I did about three or four rinses and I just really like scrubbed. So that's basically what I did there. Um, and then I just went in with that CPR um, shampoo conditioner and then I used the mask. I really like it because it gets rid of all my frizzies. Like, I know it looks a little bit flat, but I like to leave it flat and then I'll zhuzh it up a bit later. But if I zhuzh it up now, it will get... Frizzy! And we do not want that. We do not want that. So this is basically how it looks. My hair, like when I 
brushed it after the rice water it didn't even fall out as much as it usually does and it smells really great i like that sepia shampoo and conditioner so i highly recommend it i think it looks great i'll check in again tomorrow and show you how it ends up looking so then you guys can really see the final results so this is the after shower hair and I'll check in again with you guys tomorrow I am gonna wear my bonnet to sleep so what I personally like to do is I split my hair so how I personally like to sleep is I split my hair in two and then like I kind of just like scoop it and I just like rotate it like that I'll put a clip and then I'll put my bonnet and I'll just sleep. Um, I got mine from Amazon. I'll try finding the link for you guys and I'll leave it below. I think it was only $25 and it is amazing. It's silk, so it's made for curly girls, especially to not get frizzy hair. But even girls with straight hair can use it. So, I mean, if you don't mind looking a little bit crazy when you sleep, but I know I don't. So, <laughs> yeah, thank you guys and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a lovely night. Bye. All right, guys, so it's... Saturday morning now, I just woke up. Wow. So yeah, this is how my hair turned out. It's not frizzy at all, and I just zhuzhed it a bit. But like... <laughs> Do you want to actually beat it? He doesn't like my curly hair, apparently. Anyway, yeah, so this is my hair. Um, It smells so nice, and it's like, it looks so fresh and... Yeah, I, I really like it. So, yeah, I like it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the final result. I hope you guys liked it. I personally think if you do do the rice water um, trick, to do it once every two three weeks, that way you can give your hair a bit of a rest. I've been doing it every two three what weeks, a rest. and I feel like it's really helped. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video helped you a bit. If you guys want any oh, other. <laughs> If you guys have any other questions about curly hair or if you want me to do um, how I style my hair and stuff, leave me a comment in the section. <laughs> leave me a comment in the section down below. Make sure to subscribe and, and hit that like button. You meant to say hit that like button too. Smash that like button. <laughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel. And get fucking ready, mate. The videos are coming. <laughs> That's right. Peace out. <laughs> Bye.